Hi, this is Ken Peters at NibiRunner.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about the four blood moons and the decoding of the 4-28-2015 and 5-7-2015 crop circle messages which were found in the Netherlands. When I first saw the crop circle I was pretty convinced it is about the coming of an object, Nibiru. And the date is revealed when the planets are aligned as shown in the crop circle. However, the more research I did, the more convinced I am that the message is about an incoming disaster during the 2014 to 2015 Tetrid period. So let me start with a quick blood moon introduction showing you the planetary alignments during the four blood moon periods and then the historical events during recent prior tetra. You be the judge of what the message in the crop circle is really about. This is the April 28, 2015 Netherlands crop circle. It seemed to show the approaching of an object and planetary alignment. Based on the planetary alignment dates and the lunar eclipses during the planetary alignment, I have several illustrations to show the object's possible arrival dates. For a more detailed analysis, please click on the arrival date link. Then you can see the crop circle appeared on May 7, 2015 in the same area. This shows a five planet alignment with Earth being the second from the left. So what is a blood moon? It is a total solar eclipse and the red color is caused by a Rayleigh scattering of sunlight through the Earth's atmosphere. During a total eclipse, the Earth completely blocks the sunlight from reaching the surface of the moon. And because Earth's atmosphere refracts sunlight and indirectly lights up the moon's surface, the moon turns red. When we have four consecutive total lunar eclipses without partial or penumbral lunar eclipses in between, it is called a lunar tetrad. Tetrad is also mentioned in the Bible. In the book of Joel it states, the sun will turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. This phrase is mentioned again by St. Peter during Pentecost as recorded in Acts. The blood moon also appears in the book of Revelation chapter 6 verses 11 through 13, it states, There was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, and the moon became as blood. As you can see in this illustration, as stated in Bible prophecy, the sun turned to black. The solar eclipse on March 20th 2015 is the last part of the puzzle. It seems to fit the prophecy right on. However, the prophecy also predicted a great earthquake. So let's backtrack on the last several blood moons and see if there is any evidence of great earthquakes. When I found this alignment, I got goosebumps all over. The Tetrod in 1949 
1950. The four blood moons occurred April 13, 1949, October 7, 1949, April 2, 1950, and September the 26th, 1950. The first and third blood moons fell on the alignment dates of April the 11th, 1949, April 2nd, 1950, and we have had three major quakes with over 12,000, 5,000, and 1,526 deaths. Four inner planets aligned on June 24, 1968, and five planets aligned on February the 7th, 1968, and in August 1968, the Iran quake killed 12,000 people. During the 1985 to 1986 Tetrad, I found four inner planets aligned before the first blood moon, and on March 15, 1985, and between the third and fourth blood moons on June 16, 1986, and then in September 1985, 9,500 lives vanished during the September 85 quake in Mexico, and in October 1986, the El Salvador quake killed another 1,300. The 2003 to 2004 Tetrad had four inner planets aligned on September the 5th, 2003, and five planets aligned on August the 23rd, 2003, and we had 2,256 casualties in Algeria. Then in December 2003, the Iran quake killed 26,000, followed by the Indian Ocean quake that took away 280,000 lives. The 2014 to 2015 Tetrad I have found a five-planet alignment on November 13, 2015, which will come soon after the fourth blood moon. In August 2014, the China quake killed 617, and the Nepal quake in April and May 2015 killed 9,236 people. With all this alarming evidence, I think we can say the crop circle is warning us about major natural disasters. The last several blood moons left a disastrous bloody trail. The question is, is the worst still to come? The message in the crop circle showed us that we should hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. I hope the disastrous quake is the one that already happened in Nepal. And I hope everyone listening to this message will love our beautiful planet and all the people around them. Time can bring you down Time can bend your knees Time can break your heart Have you begging